If both the HVAC in a saloon are not communicating with TIMS, first and foremost, check for availability of power supply on both the HVAC and TIMS. Check and ensure that both the MCB and the rotary switch are in on condition. Then check the MCB and the rotary switch for the lugs and contacts. Both lugs and contacts should be in good condition. Now if both MCB and the rotary switch are ok and power supply is available and HVAC is not communicating with TIMS, then check the pin numbers C5 and C6 in P2 connector in HVAC1 and HVAC2. If the pin numbers C5 and C6 in P2 connector are OK and HVAC is still not communicating with TIMS, check the D4 and D5 in HVAC2. Check for loose crimps, broken wires, bent pins, wide sockets, broken modules, broken locks in pins and sockets. Also check for high voltage and short circuit. Also check wire numbers 800, 801, and 802 for loose contacts, looseness and overheating. If either of these is found, rectify the fault. Then check pin B1 and B2 in P2 connector in HVAC1 and HVAC2 for loose crimps, broken wires, bent pins, wide sockets, broken locks in pins and sockets, etc. Also, check wire numbers 800, 801 and 802 for loose contacts, looseness and overheating. If either of these faults is found, rectify. But if the pins B1 and B2 in P2 connector are OK, then check the address bit relay with its LED. The LED should glow in HVAC1 and LED should not glow in HVAC2. But if the address bit relay with LED is OK and HVAC is still not communicating, connect it to MMI or PLC interface. If LED is glowing in HVAC1, then status of address bit will be 0 on MMI. If LED is not glowing in HVAC2, status will be 1. If any observation in reading is found, change the address bit relay.